Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my reaction videos. Today I'm going to react to Jesus the Kaisen Season 2, Episode 16. Bruh. Like, I have something to say. I have something to say. It's not something new. It's just something that I just... I have to stop saying the word just... It's something that I recently remember. It's like a revelation to me, but like... <laughs> like people already um know it but because i like we waited a week to see a new episode right so at this point it's been months since we since toji first appear in this show and i already forgot that playful cloud was originally his own weapon like toji's weapon and I was editing previous video, right? And I was like, oh yeah, it used to be his. That's why he's like, when he's sharpening it, I was like, oh no, playful cloud. But then I remember that it was his, so I guess he's allowed to do whatever with it. And then I was like, I was talking to myself. I was like, when was the first time we saw playful cloud? Oh, Toji brought it out, pulled it out from his hidden inventory which is the the worm his worm right and then playful cloud after he died belonged to the school and then ghetto used it to fight yuta in the movie and after ghetto died it belonged to the school again and megumi and maki used it to fight hanami right during their school event um and then he I was like I was I was editing the the beach scene right and I was like oh yeah and then how did it get here oh Megumi brought it for Maggie where did he keep it in his shadow which is kind of like also hidden inventory I would say like and to think that that that's the Oh, not ability because like the worm Toji's worm curse spirit was not his ability it just his curse but you know that was considered his hidden inventory but Megumi who actually has curse power and curse technique and his technique can actually create actual hidden inventory I was like that's my revelation. I just want to say that. I'm like, if you if you're a manga reader, if you watch like the entire season, like entire season two, in one row, you probably realized that a long time ago. I just I just it just clicked for me. Anyway, this episode, um, Sukuna is back, so I'm pretty sure Sukuna and Jugo is probably going to go on their killing spree, killing all of the human in Shibuya, right? I still don't know what Sukuna's plan, like he has his own thing going on that he refused to tell anyone. Um, I don't know how Yuji is going to come back. I know that Sukuna taking over Yuji's body is only temporarily, temporarily, tempo yeah, like it's, it's not permanent. But I don't know how Yuji is going to take back control of his body um and we also still like don't know if megumi and not yuji toji is going to fight like the the dad and son i don't know i don't even know if toji remember megumi i don't think so because like he only remember the name right his son's name so if they fight if they ended up fighting each other ended up if they end up fighting each other then it means for toji megumi is the strongest sorcerer present in that place right like among uh i'm i would i i thought he would he was going to go for naobito or nanami probably not megumi like Megumi's good, but he's still young and like, he has potential, but I don't know, I don't know, well, uh, there's something about Megumi that others see in him that we haven't seen yet, 
like Sukuna was like this boy I want something from him and now with Toji I really want to know what Megumi like how he can how 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 ugh, I don't know how to say it like what he will become once he reach his full potential okay I'm gonna stop talking it's been six minutes now so let's, let's get started I love watching this show I love filming a video I hate editing it but yeah let's go Jesus the Kaizen season, season 2 episode 16 in 3 2 1 Joko? What is he? What is it? Mei Mei! What about Mei Mei? I don't know if she can win against Ghetto, like the fake Ghetto, but I don't want her to die. Like, she has so much. She's such a cool character, so much potential. But if she die, I wouldn't be that surprised. At this point, after they, what they did to Nanami and Maki, Toji and Megumi. He's fast. I like that, I like that description. Perfect form of Maki. I still don't know if Maki can train herself into this. Like, I thought, I thought Toji would just like, like the perfect example of heavily packed. Like, Maki was insanely strong, like, stronger than any other human. But like, Toji, he was, he's, he's like, perfect, not perfect human, but like, He's perfect as a, as a fighter, you know, but oh, I would love to see Maki reach this like level if she's still alive. I, I don't know if Maki uh, is alive or dead. I'm scared. I don't want her to die. I, I like her so much. Oh yeah, it, I already forgot that Inumaki was here. Let's go, my smart boy. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. <gasps> he knows that he can't fight. He can't win against him. Oh, oh, and oh. I thought this like red filter was like maybe um, visualizing his risk. Like he's analyzing whether he or not he can win against Toji. But no, it's Sukuna. He, he's sensing Sukuna. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was like, too many things happening at the same time. I'm going insane. I can't catch up. <laughs> oh, yeah, he used all his curse power to... <gasps> that's that's kind of funny. I'm sorry. I know the, the, the hair, like, trying to protect Megumi, but, like, that's kind of funny. And he's biting it like Toji, stop. It's too much. He was like biting the fish, fi fish in previous episode. No. I know he was voted as best boy. Who the heck voted for him? For Gojo and Ghetto, I understand. Who the heck voted? Choji for best boy category like this man literally f killing old lady hitting killing children cho shooting a girl literally like killing animals like <laughs> I can't believe he has so much fans to the point where he's like on like top I don't know top three top five top ten best boy of shonen manga like you guys i can't i can't i know he's a cool character but this man is scary he's insane he should be like the best villain or something like that like best boy you guys gotta stop like fan girling fan boy over him I, I, I i'm scared oh oh no i know they're probably not real animals 
but like they're real to make me. Like they, they they have some kind of or at least like the Goku King, divine dogs. You know these these are like his animal, his pets, his. his I, I don't know. It's it's so mean, and 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 like and like to think that every time a Shikigami oh not. A Shikigami, but Megumi's Shikigami die. They like die, like dead, dead permanently. He can't bring them back. Like, is this the last time we will, like, ever see his? Tato. Something hair, fleeing hair. So mean. Is that a a wound, a scar on his face? That 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 looks like Sukuna's eye. I'm scared. I got scared for a moment. <gasps> <laughs> Panda! <laughs> Panda! Oh, I, I don't think so because it's Halloween night. Parents wouldn't let their like children going into Shibuya area. <laughs> Oh. What? Valid. <laughs> Panda has more human heart than he does. So this is like this episode's comedic relief, I guess. Panda was so cute. Anyway, this guy is weird. I'm pretty sure someone mentioned him a couple of episodes ago that he was pretty good at fighting without using curse technique, right? So I thought, I assume he would be like really, really strong, like Toto. So what's up with him? Panda. Oh, maybe that's why, because like. Yeah, I would assume that too, that the special great curse spirits would be like n near around the area that Goju is you. So if I was, if I was just like a second grade or semi first grade sorcerer, I, I, I probably fear for my own life too. What is it? Cause you, oh, I remember that lady. Curse users. I don't want to kill sorcerer if I don't have to. I don't remember this guy. But this lady was in the movie. He was like, oh, he, she was like taking selfie with Ghetto. So I'm pretty sure they're with Mimiko and Nanako. boy my boy this is my best boy I don't want him to die leave my boy alone it's pretty good at aha he's pretty good at like moving running like his mobility skill is pretty good longer this the oh the longer this go the worse off I am come what do you have what is your advantage? I need to know. Principal, I have your cursed corpses with me. Do you find on my own? Who is this? Oh, <laughs> they're so tiny. Even Satori is capable of healing others with his reverse curse training. <gasps> oh, I just realized who is this? Shoko! <laughs> Shoko. What is he? I believe in Megumi. He's smart. He's a smart boy. Let's go, Nui. Yeah. 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 At least, like, go near her. So when you, like, badly hurt, she can help you. If you die first, 
it's over. With only injuries, she can heal. Exactly. Is that exactly? Oh, what smart boy! <gasps> I didn't realize that there's still some hairs left, so not all of them were obliterated by Turchi. Sorry. Focus on the timing. Let's go. Shimat boy, did you gut stab? Aya. Did you gut stabbed? Did you get stabbed? <gasps> did he realize that this is Megumi? Because he used his shadow curse technique? I I'm living for it. I'm living for this. Oh, this is when he make a deal made a deal with like Senin clan about giving them or selling them Megumi. Hereditary technique. Mm, they want that. Yeah, like imagine how different they will be treated. I think, again, I love the duality of Toji and Maki. Like, you can see from the twin that, like, even though they don't treat Mai that much better than Maki, but, you know, she still have her place in the family. Maki was, like, totally, completely ignored, and she has to be the one who, like, get out of their family, of their clan. So, I don't know what Toji was treated, but, you know, since he doesn't have, like, his curse power at all, he can't exercise curse spirits, they don't give a damn about him. But if Megumi, <laughs> if, but if they realize that Megumi has curse power, then, yeah, he's probably have probably gonna have a better life in the same clan than his dad doesn't mean he's gonna have a good life though I don't know how good they will treat Megumi but yeah I like I like this reality better him being with Gojo not that I care at all Megumi is such a pretty name I that's my exact reaction, like Megumi's face. That is like I didn't expect him to do that. I'm gonna cry. The music. Is he like... He's the one who initiate... He's he, he's the one who initiate... Like... The... What's the word? The trade? Like selling... Like initiating... Selling his own son back to the clan. But now he's like, oh, I'm glad you're not with the, with the clan. And I'm sure that that voice is his wife, like Megumi's dad. Oh, not dad, Megumi's mom, probably. So is this guilt? Like, is he is he finally realized that his son is better off being Fushiro, like using his, like you know, like him using his mother's last name, indicating that he's he's not part of the clan, and he's like happy about that. I think I think the the thing that snapped him out was when Megumi using his shadow technique and he's like, Oh my son. I think whether or not Megumi 
is a Fushiguro or a Sane, I think he would, like Toji would still like take himself out anyway, like stopping himself from killing his son. Is this mean? He, this okay? Okay, let me let me. <laughs> Okay, so this entire time that he's fighting Megumi, he didn't realize that this is his son. And once he realized that, he's like, okay, I gotta stop. Is that what it is? I have to rewatch this scene again and again. Yeah, I think I think it doesn't matter if he's a saint or Fushiguro. He will stop himself. But Megumi doesn't know that this is his dad. I would probably feel bad for this guy if he's not a curse user. <laughs> he's a bad guy anyway, so... Um, yeah, let's go. Shoko can save you. I can't, 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 I was so sure he was dead. I was so sure that this ponytail guy was dead. Because like, all the build up from like, him versus Nobara. He was fighting Nobara and that was epic. And then Nanami showed up and it was epic. And then Nanami would get angry at like, th that whole scene. And you tell me that he survived? Like, I know some people said that, oh, he survived when, you know, the roof like fell on him like when Nobara doing her hairpin technique and the roof collapsed on him and he survived that and people were like oh he's probably like not actually dead when that the, the, the you know up there receiving a punch from Nanami and I was like no nah, no nah, he's dead he's dead it was so dramatic he, he must be dead now Nanami is probably dead and he's just freaking attack my best boy from the back like I could let me kick it I I I I I I I'm so mad Okay, okay. They saying this without knowing uh, about the Chris's plan, right? <laughs> because like <laughs> the Chris's, the Chris spirits, they want to take over the world. But these people are like, yeah, just go along with them, and then the Chris spirits will disappear. <laughs> nah, nah. What is going on? I, I'm, I'm gonna stop. My headphone is doing weird thing. Oh, Nimiko and Nanako. I'm sad. I don't want to help get help. But I did. I'm sad. Okay. This guy doesn't care about bringing get help back. He just wanted, you know, uh, achieve whatever get you used to like. like Ghetto's vision, I would say, like, fulfill that. She's 15 or 16, I don't know. Don't tell her to grow up. They're fighting within themselves. Oh, oh, yeah, they, he wouldn't want you guys to hurt each other. Mm, so they're no longer together. Stop. I still don't know why Miguel is with Yuta. Gojo must have... Uh, must had... Have had... Done something? Oh, he said he won't pick a side, right? This guy said said he won't pick a side. Same as Miguel. Which means Miguel like stopped seeing them as sorcerer. This is my prediction. He probably like, oh, you know, sorcerer, curse user, we're the same thing. 
I still don't know what he's doing with you, that though. I just think that he's he's the only one out of all these curse users to like actually made peace with the sorcerers. I think that's the only explanation. <laughs> I I don't think it's Yuta who like you know went and joined this curse users side. That would be too much. Mm. It's really hard not to like feel for them. <laughs> Kusakabe, he's uh, he's too funny. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. New shadow style. Yai. Let's go. I don't care about any of you apart from Panda, but if you want to fight, then someone else did it. What is going on? There's too many things happening. Sukuna, probably Sukuna. Probably Sukuna. Definitely Sukuna. So intimidating. Chioko. Kamate. I hate him for killing an enemy, but in this case I will root for him instead of Sukuna. Sukuna is cool. Like just effortlessly cool, but like let's go, Chioko. Land a punch. He just keeps getting sliced. Dude, this fight is like probably the most fun. How strong would you say I am in terms of Sukuna's finger? What did he say last time? Oh, I already forgot. 10? 8 or 9. And now Sukuna's like 15 at least. No way, Joko. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you probably won't survive this. This is fun. The visual is amazing. Oh. I was like, why are, why is there an explo explosion? Like, Sukuna is not the type who create like explosion. He just kill you, like slice you up, dice you up, you know? It's Joko. He's the volcano. I keep forgetting that. I'm so slow sometimes. Surfing the lava? Eating the lava. Bye bye, Shibuya. The visual. So good. I wish whoever, like, all the people who animate this episode get a raise. This is. This is so pretty. I can't believe Joko survived, like, still survived up until this point. His jaw. Yo. I can't believe I feel bad for it, Joko. Yeah, I think the crush user should also flee, like, what's the point of just standing here? Yeah? Panda was like, I don't know what to do. Like, I need to move, but... This is so pretty! Stop. Stop. Oh, I got goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps. Panda. Oh. That guy, like, Kusakabe, he's so relatable. 
like one millisecond too late and you're dead. Kusakabe was right. Like, this is literally two elephants dancing, tap dancing on top of ants. Oh, yeah. Oh, true. True. <laughs> yeah, you lose to another special great once you stop using it. Like, <laughs> keep trying, just keep trying. So pretty. Yeah, y yeah, exactly. Well known. Imagine, imagine if Sukuna like actually review his like technique, just like all, what you know the other sorcerers and curse user and curse spirit has been doing. I would, I would totally lose my mind. I, I can't remember what I was about to say. Oh, so Kuna was doing something with the flame and he was like, oh, you don't know this? I thought it was well known. I read about Sukuna's like, like not this Sukuna, like the actual Ryomen Sukuna, like legend, lore before. And I don't recall anything to do with fire, flame, like nothing. So I don't know what he's talking about, but okay. Using fire against fire. Using fire against Joko. Melting glass? How hot that would, like, that has to be. I like the ratio. <gasps> Joko, I'm sorry, but I'm rooting for Joko for some reason. Is he about to die? Do you guys don't? True. Mahito is the scariest among all of them. Aww. I thought this is like like after death like or like his life flashing before his eye or something like that why is Sukuna's here is this in his head is that why you are alone well Again, I don't know how similar or how close this Sukuna to the actual Sukuna lore, like in, in like actual Japanese like lore, legend. But if they're like similar being, then this, I don't know, I feel like these cursed spirits, these special great cursed spirits, they're like born from like nature, right? So yeah, it makes sense for them to like not completely destroy the world and to ha to want to be something you know to reclaim the earth for themselves Sukuna was a a being since the beginning he was not a random curse floating around you know he was a being born into this world so it's it's more it it makes more sense for him to be like yeah should destroy it all, keep fighting, like don't care for stuff, like flocking around, working as a group, not for me, like that makes sense. But again, I don't know. I don't know how, like what is Sukuna is thinking. We know so little about this Sukuna. Oh. I would be happy if I was Joko. Joko! 
チョコー。I wouldn't know that. <gasps> He actually killed チョコ。Bro, listen. Okay, pause. If チョコ didn't kill Nanami and Maki, I would feel bad for him totally. That was like really touching. But, you know, he did that to two of my top five ca- favorite characters. <laughs> yeah. I forgot this person's name, but it's the androgynous bobcat person in robe, like monk robe. Introduce yourself. <laughs> the fact that Sukuna can't like recognize this person immediately made me feel or made me think that it's either A, Sukuna is like, oh, it's been too long. <laughs> it's been too long since I last saw you. Or two, this person doesn't always look i n g like this. Like they're probably possessing someone else's body, like Geto and Sukuna. But that wouldn't make sense because we don't care for this body, we don't know this body, so maybe it's just Sukuna being old. Like that took too long. Stop using, like. They did this the first time when, when, when Rika. Riko, Rika. Damn. Amanai? What is Amanai's name? When Amanai died, like in, in Hidden Inventory's arc, uh, yeah, she died. Like it was shocking. And then they played the ending song, and I was like, nah, you can't do this. And now, m e u m i I don't know. I don't think Megumi's dead. There's, there's no way, right? But something happened to Megumi. Uh, Jogo just died. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, he- all hell b r e a k loose. Like, Sukuna is here. His friend or whatever is also there for him. Like, this is about to go down. Like, really bad. And <laughs> they're playing this song. Like, stop. <laughs> What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? But so have you, right? I, I, I don't know what's happened, but you obviously did something to Megumi. Look at him. He passed out. I thought, I, I thought this is Mahito. I thought Mahito, because you know, Mahito can change his body, right? It might be Mahito. I don't know. I don't know, but I thought Mahito was working with the curse user. Yeah, just, just die. Just die. Nobody c a r e for you. You should have been dead. Like, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Throw up. You should have been dead, like, a long time ago. It's such a good song. You can't. You should start playing it when episode is actually end, not when. Like a villain is reunited with his evil friend or whatever. By the way, for some reason, I was about to ask, I wonder how's Yuji? <laughs> I forgot that Sukuna is in <laughs> Yuji's body. I, was, I literally perceived them as like different beings. I was like, How's Yuji? Is he still in the bathroom? No. That is Yuji. This show is messing my, with my head. Like, I can't process anything. I was like, I have to film this video, like, make this video as short as possible, and it's already been an hour. I hate myself. At least that was funny. I. 
<laughs> I'm so frustrating. All hail is breaking loose. All of my favorite characters are either dead or dying. And our worst, our number one villain is out having a good time reuniting with his long lost friend or whatever. I don't know their relationship yet. I, that's what I assume. I'm so mad. I'm, I'm so mad. It start out so good like Toji and Megumi fighting and then oh my gosh Toji realized that, the, that his son sacrificing himself to save his son and then everything else was like I can't Megumi <laughs> I'm sure he's still alive but he's probably have another concussion he's been hit in the head quite often, isn't he? Mumi? Jeez. What did I do to my boy? I thought the cursed spirits would be here. Longer than this. I thought they would be like... Another big problem apart from Sukuna himself. You know, like... Three of them die in this arc. I don't know, I just didn't expect Jogo to die. Maybe it's because Sukuna didn't challenge him, like actually challenge him into a fight. He's just like, come at me. Land one on me. And then... <sighs> like I said, if he didn't kill Nanami and Maki, I would probably feel a lot worse than this. I'd probably cry for him. I keep looking at this. It's the real fighter. Every episode, I'm getting more and more frustrated. I think at the end of this arc, I probably like sobbing, bawling my eyes out. I don't even know how it's gonna end. I, I have a feeling that Mahito is going to be a big part of this arc because like he was in the opening PV. There was a scene of him fighting Yuji. I don't know if that actually gonna happen or not, but like most of the, th the thing that we saw in the PV already happened. Um, and like when Jogo is about to, to die, Hanami and Dagon was like, oh, Mahito is still here, it's fine. So Mahito is probably going to do something. And I expect the one who, that will be fighting Mahito, what? I, I was expecting the one who will fight Mahito. Yeah, will be Yuji. But now Yuji's body is taking taken over by Sukuna. So what's up with that? How is how is uh, how is it gonna end? <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna end my video here. It's been over an hour again. I'm gonna cry while editing this. Hope you enjoy today's video. I hope you had fun watching me losing my mind. Stay safe. Yeah. Just stay safe until the next episode come out. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.